Please rise. Calm down. Good evening and welcome to Yeshiva Hartora's 31st annual dinner. I want to start by apologizing if I appear nervous. It's just that the last time I was up on a bima in front of this many people, it was my own bris. So hopefully this will be less painful. I want to thank you all for coming. Jewish education, as you all know, is powered by philanthropy and tonight is our most important night for fundraising of the year. The funds we raise tonight are critical to continuing our mission and I, I really do thank you from all of us from the bottom of our hearts for participating. It's also a night to celebrate and we have a lot to celebrate. We now have over 730 students in nursery through eighth grade from a broad spectrum of backgrounds and communities with many, many applicants for every available spot we open up. And we also are here to celebrate our amazing honorees who really do reflect the very best of our school and the best of the values of our school. We're tonight honoring people from West Hempstead and Great Neck and Queens, all of our core communities. And it's a representative group of what makes YHC special. None of this would have been possible without a lot of work by a lot of people and I'm not gonna go through them all, but I wanna just generally thank um, our dinner chairs, our raffle chairs, the administration, the dinner committee, and the office staff who put this together. Um, if you see Effie, buy him a drink. 
I also want to quickly acknowledge the presence of some important people. We have Rabbi and Rebbitzin Balsam, Rabbi and Rebbitzin Evan, uh, Rabbi and Rebbitzin Faskowitz, Fes Rabbi Josh Goller, Rabbi Yehuda Kellimer, Rabbi uh, and Rebbitzin uh, Lemon, Rabbi and Rebbitzin Lerner, Rabbi and Rebbitzin Lichter, Rabbi and Rebbitzin Polakoff, Rabbi Schwab, Assemblyman and Mrs. David Weprin, and Senator John Liu. Thank you for being here. That's it for me. One of the main reasons we're here, uh, I think all, most of us are here, is because of Rabbi Menchel. Under his leadership, the school has grown in size. <laughs> it's grown in size, reputation, stature, and yes, now real estate holdings. Uh, without further ado, Rabbi Menchel. Thank you. Shavua Tov. Thank you, Ellie. And on behalf of everyone, thank you, Ellie, for everything that you do with Mesirut Nefesh, with tremendous dedication. Under your leadership, the school continues to thrive. Yashikoach. <laughs> Welcome to one and all. And thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate Yeshiva Har Torah's 31st year of service to the Jewish community and of building the Jewish future one child at a time. We are so very grateful for your support and friendship. Special thanks to our dinner chairs, Huvi Cohen and Ariella Spodek, and their dedicated committees, and of course to Ed Fox and Effie Straczynski for ensuring tonight's huge success. In today's parsha, we read about the well-known blessing given by our patriarch Yaakov Avinu to the sons of Yosef. Vayivarchem bayom ahu lemor, b'cha yivarech Yisrael lemor, yivarech Yisrael lemor yisimcha elokim keefrayim v'chim enashe. He blessed them that day, saying, by you shall Israel invoke blessings, saying, God, make you like Ephraim and Menashe. Many, many of us have adopted the beautiful custom of blessing our children on Friday night, our sons with this blessing, and our daughters to be like our matriarchs, Sarah Rivka Rachel Vilea. This verse, however, seems problematic in that once it begins with Vayivarachem, and he blessed them, the verse should have continued using the plural word Bachem instead of Becha, which is singular. In other words, Jewish children will be blessed by emulating Ephraim and Menashe, which should have been reflected in the plural form. The Zohar explains that when children are blessed, it is, by definition, a blessing to the parent. So the very blessing of Jewish children to be like Ephraim and Menashe is, in fact, a direct blessing to Yosef as well. Becha Yivorach Yisrael. It is a blessing to you, the parent. And I know as parents and grandparents, we can all relate to this sent sentiment. The common denominator shared by each of our distinguished and deserving honorees is that you can learn so much about them, their values and priorities, and how blessed each one is by getting to know their amazing children. Becha Ivarech Yisrael. Each of our honorees has made chinuch, educating and raising their own precious children, their highest priority. And what a job they have done. This extraordinary commitment to yeshiva education reflects itself in the selfless dedication of each of our honorees to our yeshiva, which is entirely l'shem shamayim, for the purest of motives, not for personal gain or honor. 
Each is ready to do whatever is necessary to make sure that our yeshiva achieves its mission of connecting our children to Hashem and preparing them to make a meaningful contribution within society with midot and menschlichkeit. Leah and John, my dear friends and partners, you continue to inspire me and so many others through your remarkable leadership by example, accomplishing so much for our yeshiva, always with humility and good cheer. May the Almighty reward you with boundless nachat from your incredible children, Shai, Tani, and Orly, in good health and prosperity. Mazal tov on your well-deserved recognition tonight. Davida and Mark, you have been outstanding ambassadors and tireless workers on behalf of our yeshiva for many years. Your amazing midot and deep commitment to Klal Yisrael are reflected beautifully in each of your wonderful children. Shlomo, Leah, Shmuel, Charlotte, and Nina. You are genuine pillars of Jewish education. Mazal tov. Leora and Danny, Nurit and Ido, Gila and Simon. Your family is synonymous with chesed, communal leadership, unity, and humility. Do so much for so many, all under the radar. And we thank you for including Yeshiva Har Torah as beneficiaries of your kindness and wish you mazal tov on being recipients of the Tomchei Torah Award. May you continue, just one moment, thank you. I paused too long, I'm sorry. May you continue to be blessed with all good things while enjoying boundless nachat from your precious children, Jeremy, Gabi, Benny, and Jacob, Yonatan, Tehila, and Naomi, and Aiden, Ethan, Liam, and Jamie. Mazal tov. Vivian, Mora Vivian, what can I say? We have worked closely for 18 plus years and together have witnessed the incredible growth of our early childhood program, not just in size, but in impact, thanks to your dedication and leadership. Not just, not just the size, the impact is known far and wide. You have earned our school community's deepest appreciation while having an indelible mark on each and every one of your students and each and every one of your colleagues. And in the process, our yeshiva and the field of early childhood Jewish education have been elevated. We take special pride that your own amazing grandchildren, Yoni and Dovi, are students of ours. Mazal Tov on receiving the Faculty Award for Distinguished Educational Leadership. <laughs> My dear friends, our yeshiva is a thriving Makom Torah. Thanks to our dedicated lay leadership and our professional leadership team, led by Ms. Pesha Klitenik, Mrs. Sarah Duani, Rabbi Eitan Ehrenfeld, Mara Vivian Rosenberg, Dr. Karen Feinberg, and Mrs. Karen Simon. And all of our talented and dedicated Rebbeim, Morot, faculty, and administrative assistants. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to two former assistant principals who are here tonight, Rabbi Yisrael Silverman <laughs> and Mrs. Vicki Fish. And of course, our yeshiva could not achieve its success without each and every one of you who has come to support our efforts. These are very exciting times for Yeshiva Har Torah, as our message and mission are reaching more children and families, Be'ezrat Hashem. 
and we must celebrate these achievements. At the same time, we must continue to strive to do even more while navigating the challenges of the future as we provide our precious children with an environment of respect and dignity which cultivates each child's unique academic, social, emotional, and religious potential. We remain committed to being creative, innovative, and sensitive in nurturing within each and every student a love for Yiddishkeit and learning, along with the confidence and skills to be successful. This morning, we concluded the book of Breshit and proclaimed in unison, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us be strengthened. Together, with strength, unity, and the blessings of Hashem, may we embrace the opportunities ahead so that Yeshiva HaTorah continues to make a lasting impact on the lives of our children and on Klal Yisrael. Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Tonight, we salute our sixth graduating class, the class of 2000. We are so proud of their incredible accomplishments. They are our greatest pride and joy. And they embody the fulfillment of the dream of Rabbi Belitsky, Zichronot Tzadik Livracha, and our yeshiva's founders. We are thrilled that two of our graduates are here to represent the class, and I invite them up to be recognized. Dr. Tani Jacob and Dr. Ilana Libby Dicker. While they're coming up, I will say that there was supposed to be a third, Dr. Abby Feldman Basileli, but she had a baby yesterday. We wish her Mazal Tov. Both Tani and Alana are also proud parents at Yeshiva HaTorah. At this time, I ask you to please give your attention to the video presentations. I am honored and humbled to call up my colleague, friend, and role model, Mara Vivian Rosenberg, to receive the Faculty Award for Distinguished Educational Leadership. My privilege and honor to call up the Livy family to receive the Tomche Torah Award. <laughs> Leora and Danny, Nurit and Ido, and Gila and Simon. Please come forward.
It's my tremendous honor and pleasure to call up our good friends, Davida and Mark Haskell, as our pillars of Jewish education. Come on up, guys. Please join me in recognizing our guests of honor, Drs. Leah and John Fish. Shavua Tov, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for coming and helping to make this evening such a wonderful success. And I can't leave the podium without taking one moment to give thanks to some one person who, whose gargantuan efforts brought this evening together, and that is my very close friend and colleague, Mr. Effie Straczynski. Effie. Over the years, our Yeshiva Heart Torah family has experienced some very exciting times and even some miraculous moments. Over the past six months, we have once again experienced some miracles, and those miracles will be leading us to the exciting time over the next months as we work toward completion of our new early childhood campus just one mile down the road from our main campus. The new campus will include spacious classrooms, a sensory gym, a maker space, a teaching kitchen, indoor and outdoor play areas, and a parking lot. <laughs> Very happy to let you know that we have architects and engineers who are hard at work, as are many Yeshiva Hard Torah committees. And yes, we are smack dab in the middle of a so far very successful capital campaign to raise the funds we need to complete this project. With Hashem's help and with your help, in September of 2021, we expect that 300 YHD students in nursery through second grade will begin their year in the building, a rendering of which is now on your screens, I think. We welcome you to join the excitement. Stay tuned as this exciting project progresses. And now, 
I believe we can celebrate in the next room with dessert and dancing. Thank you all for being here. I am honored and humbled to call up my colleague, friend, and role model, Mara Vivian Rosenberg, to receive the Faculty Award for Distinguished Educational Leadership. It is my privilege and honor to call up the Livy family to receive the Tomche Torah Award. Leora and Danny, Nurit and Ido, and Gila and Simon. Please come forward. My tremendous honor and pleasure to call up our good friends Davida and Mark Haskell as our pillars of Jewish education. Come on up, guys.
please join me in recognizing our guests of honor, Drs. Leah and John Fish. Shavuot Tov, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you all for coming and helping to make this evening such a wonderful success. And I can't leave the podium without taking one moment to give thanks to some one person who, whose gargantuan efforts brought this evening together, and that is my very close friend and colleague, Mr. Effie Straczynski. Effie. Over the years, our Yeshiva Heart Torah family has experienced some very exciting times and even some miraculous moments. Over the past six months, we have once again experienced some miracles, and those miracles will be leading us to the exciting time over the next months as we work toward completion of our new early childhood campus just one mile down the road from our main campus. The new campus will include spacious classrooms, a sensory gym, a maker space, a teaching kitchen, indoor and outdoor play areas, and a parking lot. <laughs> Very happy to let you know that we have architects and engineers who are hard at work, as are many Yeshiva Har Torah committees. And yes, we are smack dab in the middle of a so far very successful capital campaign to raise the funds we need to complete this project. With Hashem's help and with your help, in September of 2021, we expect that 300 YHD students in nursery through second grade will begin their year in the building, a rendering of which is now on your screens, I think. We welcome you to join the excitement. Stay tuned as this exciting project progresses. And now, I believe we can celebrate in the next room with dessert and dancing. Thank you all. Sing the tone, 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 sing the